contestant. I'm really looking forward to this. I couldn't believe it when he handed me this form. Let's give Tommy Law a great big round of applause. Hey y'all, uh, what, what are we being judged on again? He started to say it, but he never finished. Wait a minute, not finished. Okay. <laughs> always, I gotta know how to act. <laughs> always originality. Oh, that's Presentation, Presentation. <laughs> structure, originality, and crowd response. Okay. Well, I can't. I, I can't win a liar's contest. That's impossible. Yeah. I've heard some Baptists. <laughs> we got a Baptist politician that's in the thing. So, you know, and, and I'm Presbyterian. So there's no way I can win. We got a Roman Catholic judge. <laughs> Kristen, Coach Turret, T Ball. So, uh -oh. you know, don't know Miss Pam Swan, except her big dad. Lee, almost family. And that's the biggest liar if y'all read that article. <laughs> but anyway, uh, you know, I guess, uh, you know, to kind of preface this, you know, in the, uh, in the 45 years of my life, you know, I've spent a lot of time here at the State Park, the State Park won a lot of golf tournaments, you know, and hope this thing will stay around, you know, we'll do whatever we can to to help yeah. do it, but if I win the money, you know, I was going to uh, donate it to the Hillary Clinton for President campaign. <laughs> I plan on giving it, donating it, taking it to Jimmy Q, and we're going to raise enough money to get a fan for this thing. <laughs> uh, even going back to before that, I'm Big Daddy's little brother, and uh, when I first was in, started my career, you know, I would go somewhere and they would ask me, that's when he was doing something different than what he's doing now. And everybody would ask me, am I any kin to Big Daddy? Or did I know Big Daddy? I used to have to be careful how I answered that. <laughs> now, when I go out of town, I, I got a pen that says I'm Big Daddy's brother. <laughs> but that, that's just kind of the way it is. But, uh, I'm gonna, let me set the stage for a story that isn't, it's the truth. I can't, you know, I'm not gonna win the thing. It's impossible to win. But, uh, cause I'm gonna tell the truth. And, uh, but I guess it was in the mid 60s, we were doing a frog gigging thing, ain't we? Yeah. Isn't this yeah, what's tonight. going on out here? Tonight. You've kind of become fond of snakes lately. <laughs> and, uh, and we got the gators in the loop. So I'm gonna try to tie all that into a true story that, you know, actually happened. Yeah. But uh, it was back in the mid 60s and times were a little bit simple. And in the summer, we always frog you. You know, it was a core group of us that, that went. You know, we thought we had to have a 16 foot boat that we didn't have a truck that was big enough to tow it in. And, and we thought that we had to have use a caterpillar battery because it had more. The 12 volts that it had was better than the 12 volts out of the car. That thing weighed 200 pounds. But. Uh, but we would go just about every every weekend. I, I guess maybe we may have went during the week, but I know we went on weekends. The ponds that had the most frogs were the ponds that had alligators in them. And uh, there was three main ponds that we went in. One was this Betty Biggest Pond right there on Bridgeport Road had a big old alligator on it. And we got in trouble, big trouble one time because we got a whole chicken out of our refrigerator and put it on a cane pole and fed it to that alligator one time and she wasn't mad about feeding the gator, worried about our sex, she worried about that chick. <laughs> but, uh, you know there was a pond, uh, Lake Glen down there by the river going across the 10 River Bridge had, had uh, uh, gators in it, it always had frogs. And I could tell you about the, the time we spotlighted the bobcat and ran up on the bank and the bobcat got in the boat with it, but I'm not going to, I ain't going to waste your time with that. And, uh, so, so I'm on the other pond that we went to very frequently, it was owned by Mr. Squint Gaston. He was a local character in himself. They had about an eight foot alligator in, he followed the boat around. We always found uh, frogs in there. And I know uh, Chuck Sykes is dissing Big Daddy for bringing attention to frog gigging, but we had a, 
We had a, a bag landed back then. We never gigged over 25 frogs. We'd always stop, you know, because we were conservationists even then. And Big Daddy was in charge of the crew in it on the bull. But uh, basically, our frog eating consisted of a uh, uh, a spotlight man, a gigger, and a motor man. And the night we went to Squinch Pond was uh, uh, I was I was doing the spotlight, and Big Daddy was the motor man. And I don't remember who the frog gigger was, but it probably was either Terry Bailey or one of the Loving Goods or Joey Williams. But we had, uh, we'd been around that pond two or three times. That alligator was following us. We weren't having any luck, hadn't seen any frogs. You know, looking back, you know, we probably gotten all the frogs. You know, you know we didn't know, we didn't know what we were doing. But, uh, but we made a loop, and this was a time back in the late 60s that it was before Big Daddy was Big Daddy. It was even before he was Big Six. <laughs> he was just Jamesy. <laughs> <laughs> he was still pretty doggone big. He still had uh, wasn't much room in that 16 foot boat. You know, 425 bars, two other people in that cat But anyway, we'd gone around that pond two or three times. We wasn't having any luck. And uh, for some reason, uh, you know, I don't know why, but I always was fond of snakes and lizards and stuff like that. You know. And I could tell you the story about the time I put the, the green and old lizard on Big Daddy's ear to wake him up and he bled all over the pillowcases, and I got in trouble about that, but I ain't gonna waste the time with that. <laughs> but getting back to Squinch Pond, we'd gone around, we ain't gonna get the frog. And, uh, you know, remember now, we're in a 16 foot boat, I'm on the light, Joey Williams on the gig, Big Daddy's on the boat. We're going about the third round, and we ain't seen an eye all night with that out there. So uh, we were coming around, and, and if you dig in, in a pond, I don't know how it is in the river. We never did that in the river. You stay about the distance off of the bank that you're uh, lengthy from. So we was at least 12 to 16 feet off of the bank. And, uh, you know, I, I, that's when I was, I was about 145 pounds. Big Daddy was like 445. <laughs> we was coming around that thing, and, and it was a, a pretty good size diamondback water snake, the size he wanted to come out there with us. And we was bored, and it was probably two o'clock in the morning, so, you know, I carefully reached over there and picked the little fellow up and brought him in the boat with us. And, uh, you know, there was a little bit of a ruckus there for a minute, and, uh, and, and there again, you know, this is not a lie, this is the truth. Uh, Joey, he he swam to the bank. <laughs> now my brother Big Daddy, who now is real fond of snakes and he'll take one handily, he made it out of that 16 foot boat without a ripple, got on the bank and it wasn't a, a wet spot on the <laughs> You know, how that happened, I don't know, but that's the truth. 